G'day guys, I'm Tim Tam here. Today we're going to do a Octane render tutorial that I didn't fit into the previous batch for Octane version 3 and that is the uh, setting up the render layers for each object that you want. Um, I kind of just skimmed past it and showed very brief examples for it in the other tutorials so here we're going to show you the different ways to do it um, when importing different um, files such as obj and abc. So I have uh, some nodes here in front of me. I have a plane object and a bulb. And I want to join these and put them in their own separate render layers so I can manipulate them more fine tunely in the compositing aspect. So we're going to add a geometry group, connect these two together, and view them in a way that is good for demonstration purposes. As you can see, the uh, bulb is a bit out of whack, so we're just going to quickly... Alright, so, in order to separate each object into its own separate render path, you have to have an object layer map. Now, to uh, get this, you have to go to right click, object layer, and object layer. However, in order to actually assign this to the mesh, you need its own separate geometry layer map. Alright, so if you have a placement, um, put the object layer map between the object and the placement. And then connect the object layer to the layer map. Now, before we get into the options, we're going to do the same. So, control click, and we're going to do the same with the bulb. No, for the, um, yeah, for the bulb. Now, given that I've connected the object layer map, it, um, looks at every single different object within the OBJ itself, and this since one, this since this one's cut up, we're going to have to connect all the different objects to the object layer. Since I've downloaded this uh, layer map, these different objects must have its own allocated object name, but exported in its own separate OBJ. And then connect that to the geometry. So now we have two object layer maps. When importing ABC files, it's important to go to the settings and click on the load object layers. If this doesn't get clicked and people just plug it into the object layer map, it will not show the option to place the object layer settings in. So be sure to load up the object layer to access the options. So, the object layer settings is the render layer ID, baking group ID, general visibility, camera visibility, shadow visibility, random color seed, and color. Now, just for quick demonstration purposes, since I'll do a more in-depth tutorial involving this big setup for compositing, I'll just show you a general gist on setting up the render layer IDs. So the default one is one. So you don't have to worry about that. It's already been assigned to one. The second one, however, needs to be put to two. Once these two are assigned, you can then go to the render layer option, press enable, and you'll see that the active layer ID will assign to the object that it's been put onto. So the bulb is 1, and the plane is 2. And you can go to even more options with 
let's just say you want to see the plane. However, you don't want to see the shadow. So you can go to the bulb and get rid of the camera visibility and you can also get rid of the shadow visibility and also vice versa. The next tutorial will be dealing with various different object layer groups and seeing what we can get and harness out of each different render layer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.